How frustrating was that at the end of 90 minutes? Unbelievably frustrating. Um, can't fault the players. 67 minutes to go down to 10 men um, and to withstand the pressure that they put on us. Balls into the box, relentless. Thought they stood up to it. One moment and that's all they needed is one moment because in the first half it was about as bad as a game of football I've seen. Um, really is and it's hard to play against them um, that's the majority of their games look in that manner and look full credit to them where they are in the league you know they're pushing for a playoff place um, so I'm not, I'm not knocking how they play um, but I thought the game plan was going how it was as the game was going to stretch on I thought we'd get more opportunities to score even with 10 men we had an opportunity to score um, but it's not unlucky anymore is it because this is, seems to be the theme of the last three to four weeks um, perhaps a bit more um, and I've let the players know that um, this one really stings and hurts Just talking about the red card no problems with that one? No red card um, Rod it, it, straight away when we've walked in the dressing room and let's not knock Rod um, he knows he's done wrong we'll deal with that but he's been absolutely superb for this football club um, he's made a slight judgement error not try to not try to boot the lad he's made a judgement and error when the balls come and, and then uh, just a bit of a melee um, after that and the lad's just nicked in front of him and he's caught him he has so it's a sending off but let's not knock Rod he's been superb for, superb for me and superb for the football club When you talked about it being the, probably the worst 45 minutes football match you've seen I think most people would agree with that, but the one bit of quality came with your goal. Yeah, it was a great delivery. Um, we've been on to Tariq about them deliveries, and Dan's got a knack um, to be in the right place at the right time, and he should actually do better in the air because he is really good in the air. But, you know, great goal. Uh, we explained to the players what the game would look like and how, how it'll pan out. We've showed them bits in the game. I've watched various games of, of Sutton, and that, that first half was how I've viewed other games um, maybe not their Newport away game um, no and uh, like I say as the game was going on I, I thought we would have scored a, a couple more um, with the pace and power we had up there you have to be careful what you say but it wasn't helped was it by a whistle happy referee and, and taking away the sending off which <coughs> you agree was right but there's a lot of whistle happy coming from the referee there was and I, I, I always said when I get into this position of being a manager, I won't be blaming referees. Um, we'll look at what we've got to do better to make sure we come out with three points. Um, but it was very, very frustrating. Very frustrating. Um, not, not only for us, but, only for, but, but for them as well. Um, but we'll look at what we've got to do um, and what we've got to improve on. But again, I can't fault them players again. And, and the, the fans behind the goal, they travelled in the numbers again. The, travel, the, the away support we've had this year um, it has been brilliant, top notch. Um, even when we, you know, we've not been doing so well, um, they've been right behind us, and they could, they appreciated the players' efforts um, at the end. It's another one hard to take, isn't it? Once again, in front and couldn't couldn't see it out. Yeah, I mean, you had a conversation, yeah. didn't we? Was it 19? So that take it to 22? And I've told the players um, how how different this season could look. But when you're 11 men, we win the game. We win the game. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, so it's a hard one to take, 67 minutes at this place, um, it, where the ball keeps on coming in your box, the physical um, presence they have. Um, I, I'm, you know, I'm going to say the word gutted for the players, because I am the lads of the 10 that were out there fighting, the lads who come off fighting. But we, 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 we can't keep letting it happen. We can't keep letting it happen. And the first thing we've got to do, as I said, there wasn't a discipline problem. And now, again, the, it'll get done for violent conduct, but he's misjudged something. But we need to keep 11 players on the pitch. We, we do, because we pick up more points. On the positive side, you had a very strong bench because that included Charlie Colcott, Courtney Baker Richardson, and in the starting 11, Calvin Meller. Yep, um, we, you know, we've only got a couple now left in the, uh, in the treatment room, which is really good. Um, hopefully, we get David Amu back next week. Um, so there's competition for everybody. Um, <clears throat> but I thought the, the, the boys who come on added to the game. Um, took on the information that we were trying to do. We didn't change formation because we didn't th feel we needed to have three in the middle of the park. Um, so we just kept it with a two and kept with the three at the back, which we thought would um, help us with the balls into the box. But no, I'm not using the word frustrated. I'm, I'm, I'm peeved off with this one. It, it, it won't help, of course, because you, you haven't got the, the three points, but it is now six unbeaten. Six unbeaten, but we should have more wins in there. We should have more wins in there. Um, so, yep, six unbeaten. Um, we've got to, we've got to fuel how the players feel, how the staff feel, to take it into Tuesday. 
Um, sorry, it's Friday against Salford. We've got to, we've got to take that with us now um, because we want to win some football matches and our fans um, deserve to see us winning some football matches. Just rounding up, you're allowed two players to go out on loan to, yep. to get some games. Billy Sass Davis and Charlie Finn. Is that the reason behind all that? Charlie's been out for for some time. Um, he's had a stop-start season, illness, injuries. He's gone. You know, he's, he's got a good loan move there. Um, so he'll be playing in a position that he wants to play, and we see him. We see him eventually playing in our team and, um, and Billy uh, you know we've had various conversations uh, with Billy about going out on loan and he needs to get some games does Billy um, and that's the reason we've let him out um, and it, you know it doesn't change our thinking even though the, the rod's missing you know we, we know um, Connor's going to be back and Connor can also do what he's done today um, so I hope he goes there um, and gets some games um, because he needs it um, he, he wanted to go and he wanted to go earlier on in the season um, but we're getting everybody back to where we want to be and we're, we're looking um, to move things forward.